Hey man, I just want to show you. Uh, let me just turn that off. I just want to show you uh, a good way of um, kind of animating stuff, um, just translating stuff, because uh, it took me a while to f to figure this out. So you get your plane here. Great. First thing you want to do is put the origin, a fixed origin point, because Toon Boom is super confusing if you've been using other software packages. You think you're moving the origin here, but then it changes again. You gotta go to one of these things, which is a more permanent position, so I'm just gonna put the origin here. And what you, all you need, so that origin's not gonna change. Now we can rotate around it, etc. Oh, now it's moved it another way, that's odd. Okay, I'm not used to that. But, um, oh, I see. It's because the rotation origin might be different, I think. Anyway, we just need two keyframes. Keep things simple. So I'm just going to select those keyframes. Delete them. So you got your start and your end point here. It's got a bit of rotation. Instead of adding another keyframe, all you got to do is put your... Go to the, whatever this tool is, transform. Put your m cursor over the path and press P. Sometimes this doesn't work. It's finicky. There we go. So I just had to move my cursor to the middle point. Just press P and it gives you something to affect the path. You see, it's not adding a keyframe here. It's just letting me move the path, which is quite cool. And if I play it back, I get that. And then you can put an animate mode, just change the rotations that you want. And that's really cool. And then for easing in and out, by the way, um, that hides the path and that shows the path so you can see exactly where all the keys are. Something called set ease for multiple parameters. So let's put that at like 30. I don't change the right value or left ratio value, just use these top ones. Apply next. And let's put that at 30 as well. Apply. So you can see it's just giving us a bit of easing out there and easing in. Yeah. Yeah, so I always prefer less keyframes. It makes it easier to change things. And also what you might know is if animates, if the animate button is not on, we can move this whole thing somewhere else, which is also funky. Shot, man!